What's up Star Wars fans? Hope you're all doing well and I hope you've all had a fantastic week. Um, just before I get into this video review, I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone who viewed and listened and uh, responded to my first podcast episode I did last week. Uh, Star Wars Go Figure is what it's called. I've just released the first episode yeah, last Saturday. And uh, yeah, I had some great feedback um, from some great people and I really appreciate it. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. It was it was nerve wracking at, at first, just sort of recording it and putting it out there and stuff. But that's the first big hurdle out of the way. I'm looking forward to doing more. But uh, yeah, just wanted to say th get that thank you out of the way very quickly. And now we'll look at this figure. Um, so I got this. Uh, I got this early in the week. Um, this is one of my favourite Luke figures. I finally bit the bullet on him last week. Um, I've been eyeing it off and looking at reviews and stuff and I finally decided to grab it because he just looks so good and I'm glad I did. Um, yeah, he's one of my favourite Lukes in my collection and this is the uh, box he came in. It's like a mailer box that Bandai used to send out. It's got the sort of Tamashii Nations little logo down there. Luke Skywalker, SH Figure Arts logo up the top there. So I wonder if this is the... Uh, the last Jedi but it comes in this box which is also a little bit different to what I've seen with other um, fig arts releases they've usually got a window in the front so I'm not sure if if I've just got a different version or whether it did get released with a window box but it's okay There's some great images on there accessories on the back Pretty simple, looks good though. But the figure is where the uh, where the action is, and here he is. <clears throat> if it focuses, come on. If I just get him to stand, yeah, great, great likeness of Mark Hamill here. Um, as most of you know, I'm a I'm a big fan of the interpretation we got of Luke in the Last Jedi. It was a natural follow-on from what we've had. Um, I, I, I still think we're going to get more um, in Episode 9. We're probably going to get more Luke. Um, and hopefully, you know, <laughs> it was an absolute dream to see Luke fighting with a lightsaber again and, you know, taking out bad guys. And I can't see why we won't see that. And there's, you know, there's every reason why we can. Well, there's, there's yeah. <laughs> anyway, we won't get into that too much. Well, let's get a look at him. Get a close-up look. Have a look at it, that looks so good. Really, really impressed with this. Hoping to get out on the weekend and take some photos. That's fantastic. I, I really, really like it a lot. <clears throat> yeah, just the outfit is really great too. Um, only thing I wish, I wish there was a couple more accessories. I feel like there could have been a little bit more, but uh, they got most of it. They got the, they got some good stuff here. So, so we got one interchangeable set of hands. He's sort of got this sort of just sort of static, you know, just relaxed open hands. It also comes with a set of closed fists. So it comes with the uh, red lightsaber crystal relic that he'd been hanging on to. I remember all the uh, rumors before The Last Jedi that he'd wear this around his neck, but pretty don't think he did at any stage at all. But that's pretty cool. We can have that holding in his hand. No, he can't. It's on the floor. <laughs> anyway, you just have to take my word for it. I'll have to find that afterwards. That sucks. That's annoying. Um, he comes with his compass. It's really, really small. I 
But I think the story is that uh, Dave Filoni um, designed this and they sort of just did a 3D print overnight when um, Ryan Johnson asked that they need need a little prop that would uh, come across as a bit of a compass sort of map looking thing. And Dave Filoni quickly drew something up and they 3D printed it that night. And it was ready to use the next day. And we have the open version. And I think that was initially for Battlefront actually. I'm not sure if that was a request from Ryan. I can't remember the story. Um, but this is something Luke picked up on the planet Pilio, I think it was. In Battlefront 2. So they wanted to have that crossover to say show that he's had this thing for quite a long time and that's probably how he found his way to Ark 2. But they're nice little accessories. And lastly we've got his hood. Which uh, if you just pop off his head. It's quite simple to do. The hood just sort of slops out, slots out. I like how it sort of sits in the groove in the neck there. It looks really good. And now what you have to do is pop the head in the hood like so and then pop that in there and that's a good look too I really do like that but I think I'm more of a fan of the hood down um, slightly being able to showcase that sort of that face a little bit more but yeah like I said, the fabric of the hood looks really great I mean the the sculpting of the fabric it looks really great. It flows on really nicely through here. Through the lower part under his belt. And he's sort of got his overcoat. It's sort of more of a leathery look. <clears throat> no real details on the back of his belt. It's pretty plain and simple. Sort of plain trousers and the sort of wrapped up boots. So he's, he's a great figure, I definitely definitely recommend him. Now I'm just going to pop that hood out. Now this is a little bit tricky trying to get that head out of the hood. No, that's, that's alright, that's not too bad. But yeah, full range of movement, great posability. A really, really great figure. I'm even going to toss up getting the Hot Toys version as well when that comes out. I may let it sit and wait for that to come down in price after it's released. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty pretty impressed with this one. Let's give it one quick look over it again. And that's about it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll be back very, very soon with some more videos. And hopefully another podcast episode. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to do another one. Um, just when it comes to me, when I've got time, when I feel like it. At this stage, I'm not going to stick. To my, I'm not going to push myself to stick to a schedule. Um, eventually, maybe when it takes it takes off a little bit more. Hopefully, if it does. If not, I'll just keep doing what I want to do. So I'm happier doing that way. Anyway, guys, thank you very much again. And uh, until next video, may the force be with you.